The end of chapter 4 of Tides of War and what's next. Detailed information on bugs to be fixed in the upcoming 4.6 update and the only consistently reliable aspect of Battlefield 5, more data mining goodness from Temporium. Welcome to this episode of This Week on the Battlefield, the show where we cover news, updates, the community, and so much more all around the Battlefield franchise. As per usual, there's much to cover, so let's jump straight into it. This week in Battlefield 5 saw the end of Chapter 4 of Tides of War, with no official information on what to expect next or when to expect whatever exactly is next. Presumably, of course, Chapter 5, most likely, however, Operation Underground, in a somewhat between-state chapter before it. Also this week, we saw the return of the Bombastic playlist, featuring Aras, Panzerstorm and Rotterdam on Breakthrough, and Mercury, Narvik, Hamada and Twisted Steel on Conquest. For those who do not remember this playlist, it's a mostly large-scale, vehicle-focused playlist something the community has generally been lacking in terms of the maps recently added to Battlefield 5. Then, in what to expect next week, in official terms, actually absolutely nothing. There's no announcements as to what to expect next week, there is no new content supposedly coming to the game. Unofficially, for those a little bit more in queue as to what's going on over in DICE, we do know they are finalizing the next letter from the front, thus expect it most likely next week. It will supposedly include details on private games and what is exactly going on there, more likely why it's being delayed and when we can actually expect it. Also, of course, there's update 4.6, which could come next week, most likely will come the week after, but most likely we should finally be getting some of the details on that update. Given that the patch notes supposedly have now been completed and are running all the way into around 9 pages of length, DICE should be able to give us some details on some of the more fundamental changes in balance and features coming with update 4.6. Now, regrettably, the exact date of the update is not only not known, but supposedly, according to one of the devs, not actually set just yet. But we do know that numerous of the current bugs plaguing Battlefield 5 are part of what is to be fixed with the upcoming update. And a list of those bugs has been released via the Trello board. While I will refrain from reading you the full list, because it's not exactly very interesting, I link it in the usual places, of course. Amongst the most important ones are the increased ping for all players, one of the most frustrating bugs to hit Battlefield 5 today at least according to me, the Firestorm looting problems, gamepad and mouse compatibility issues in the main menu, the S2-200 Proficiency 6 criteria, the invisible flare gun fires, and the lack of a out-of-combat area on the top of the hangar over on Eridon. Quick reminder for those who are not aware of what in terms of more major content we can expect from update 4.6, besides of course the bug fixes, sliding changes, MMG balance changes, 3D and minimap icons for ammo and health crates, as well as Operation Underground and hopefully I'll soon done, if that map actually ever ends up coming in its full form to Battlefield 5. I've also been getting recently a number of questions as to what's happening in the meantime between Chapter 4 and Chapter 5, given that Chapter 5 isn't launching next week. And while I did cover this in a previous episode of This Week on the Battlefield a couple weeks back, I thought we'd rehash some of the major information there because some of you seem to have simply missed that. In terms of what to expect then from those roughly four to five weeks between chapter four and chapter five, we will supposedly see some form of mini chapter with four weeks of challenges and respective rewards. Now this is all data mined from Temporal and thus take it with a grain of salt, it could have been changed in the meantime or even entirely abandoned, but according to the latest information from a couple weeks ago from update 4.4, week one will include challenges focused around Operation Underground with the reward for completing those challenges being the jungle carbine or Lee Enfield number no. 5, which is the third bolt action carbine to come to the medics for Battlefield 5. Week 2 then brings challenges focused on Firestorm, which leaves the course open if we finally possibly see the promised changes and improvements to Firestorm that were supposedly supposed to come with Chapter 4. Now the reward for that week is currently unknown, but given that the C96 trench carbine, a weapon delayed out of Chapter 4, has yet to be released, it is possible that they slot that one in there. And and give us that weapon that was supposed to come earlier this month anyway. Then in week three we have challenges focused on Rush On Operation Underground, which means likely we will not only see the return of Rush, but also with at least one additional map, specifically the new Operation Underground. The reward here is the Dutch Matson or Matson Mini, of course an additional LMG for the support class. 
And in week 4, the challenges are more general varied, focusing on just general infantry combat, the reward supposedly being the anti-AA gadget, the Fliegerfaust, which is that prototype man-portable anti-aircraft launcher, rounding off that mini-chapter. Now, hopefully Temporeal's got this one right, and this is exactly what we see, but I'm not sure if we're going to see it just next week. We may have to wait a little bit further for this to start, because it is most definitely dependent, at least on update 4.6, because that is once we will have the full version of Operation Under the ground in the game and currently with no release date being scheduled for update 4.6 we don't know when this content is going to be introduced into the game. Also in further data mining goodness Temporal gave us some gameplay on the M1919 A6 MMG Panzerschreck and Burned Plank melee weapon. I'll have that linked in the usual places down below in the description and up in the info card because I don't want to steal his thunder on that and he made a relatively good video showcasing those new items he's dug up. Then over in our only in Battlefield moments, we start this week off with an absolute legend in the Battlefield community, developer and absolute Battlefield beast, Drunksy, taking on scores of enemies over on Fjell. Next up we have E2 Good For You Mate with a melee streak, making use of both his club and, more interestingly, his bayonet. Lastly then, we have Watches with an SMG plane kill. But coming to the end of this week's episode then, if you enjoyed the show, found it interesting or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, and of course hit me up with your feedback, suggestions, and opinions down below in the comments or over on Twitter. With that being said, however, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you in the next episode of This Week on the Battlefield.